Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Uh, another day, another free lesson for you. Uh, really cool tune. It's kind of like the Foo Fighters version of a Tom Petty song is kind of what it reminds me of. And I know uh, they're Dave Grohl and Tom Petty are friends and who doesn't like Tom Petty? I, I dig Tom Petty. Uh, anyway, this song's cool. There's actually the original recording has uh, four different guitar parts going on. So there's like two guitars with capos, there's an acoustic, there's more of a lead. So I kind of condensed a few things and uh, I'm gonna give you the, the meat and potatoes chords and then also that opening line that I was playing. So that's what I'm gonna do. And also I've always have a bunch of bonus stuff. You can click the link below this box, right down there, and uh, check what I have to offer. And I always really, really appreciate that. Uh, but let's get to the lesson. Here we go. All right, so first, the meat and potatoes of this is great. If you're a beginner guitar player, uh, you know, it's it's all nice, easy chords, except for one bar chord. And so it just goes like this. It goes D, a D major chord. Then you've got an A major chord. And you could play it. I, you know, when I'm playing rock, and especially like a like a dis distortion kind of thing. You know, I use one finger. Then you've got F sharp minor, which is like an E minor up a whole step. And then E major. So there's, you know, there's a little pause, and basically the chords are like that the whole time. A few rhythmic changes, um, but for the most part, it's the, those chords over and over. Um, check out this kind of power chord version that you can do with a uh, with what's called the fifth tone of a power chord is in the bass though. So for the D chord, you could do this, which is a power chord five seven and pinky on the seven but then get the five of the low E in there. So that's your first chord. Then you can just go all the way up to the 12th fret for the E chord. Then down to the ninth fret. Then down to the seventh fret. So I think the, the original guitar that's playing that is one of the capoed electric guitars, I believe. But we're going to do it right here in this position. So if you're really fancy, you could combine the two together if you're playing by yourself. You know, like... you know. So but anyway, I'll show you the line. So we're going to start with the open D. Then we're going to hammer two to four on that same string. Then we're going to go right next door, second fret on the A on the G string. It's an A note. Then we're pulling off from four to two on the D. And 
you could do either the A note or you could do the uh, C sharp right there, the second fret on the B. Or you could do them together. That's what I was doing. Okay, then that second fret of the G. So we're going on the first fret of the G. And then we're going to the second fret of the G. Pulled off, so. And then two times on the second fret of the D starts over. on that when the verses are going and that line is still there and it's like you know clean and he's singing the verse there's a little there's less you know it's just a, a variation on that same line but with less notes a little break like the, So with the D chord, and then also even there's there's a few breaks too in the song, and it's still just. Same thing. Learning to fly, learning to fly, but I ain't got wings. Learning to fly. And come to think of it, uh, Foo Fighters have a learning to fly. Ooh, we're getting some synchronicity here. <laughs> Anyway, have fun with that. It's a great, fun, uh, like medium pace. Uh, no, I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just cut. All right. Hope that was fun. Uh, always have bonus features to like get more into learning guitar. You can click the link below. Check that out. Thank you so much for the support and everything like that. I do really appreciate it and hope to see you in another video lesson real soon. Take care.